Hey guys, ever since I posted my diamond to be shout out pictures yesterday, I've been getting a lot of questions of how I made them. Um, I learned how to use PicMonkey off of tutorials on the internet, but I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you exactly how I make them so that if you have coaches on the verge of rank advancing, you can make them for your team. So I'm going to screen share and show you what I do. Oops, what did I click? There we go. Okay, so I go to design and then I select the size that I want to use. So we'll just use this one. And then if you go over to the left side, well, first of all, if you want to choose a canvas color, say you want you know, to have a background color, you choose whatever color you want. And then you click apply. And then you're going to go down to this little butterfly over here. And at the top, it says your own. So if you have your team logo and you have like a picture of a diamond or your coaches saved, you can go ahead and open these to put them right onto your canvas. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I have my team logo in here and I go ahead and click on that and to open it. And I'll put that wherever I want it to be. So we'll just put it there. And then I have, um, I have a file for recognition that has diamonds and rubies and emeralds and all that kind of stuff stored in it so that they're just easy to find. Oops, it's not the one I want. Good quote though. <laughs> Okay, so I have my diamond outline here. Oh, and that one's not the one I want either. Um, okay, we're just gonna use that so you can see. And I'm gonna change the canvas color back to white so that they blend in. That way, if you have a white background, you don't see the actual outline of the picture. If you haven't cropped them, which I can show on another tutorial how you erase the background around whatever photo you have. So we'll just use this since I'm trying to make this short and sweet. And then you can go into your text and you choose whatever text you want and you can just put diamond to be. So we'll do that. And you can make it smaller so that it fits wherever you want it. We'll say like that. And then you're gonna click back on the butterfly again, and you're gonna go to geometric. And so I just click the amount of circles that, it, that you would have like on a diamond tracker, so there's 12. And then what I do is I line them up like they would be on a diamond tracker. And... This is the only part that takes a little bit of time, is getting them to look even. <laughs> and, oh, see, and you gotta play with it and move them over so they all fit like they're supposed to. Okay, I'm not trying to make this perfect, just trying to show how I do it. So. Then since these are gonna be the emeralds, I go in and I change them to be the color green so that I just visually like to see what those, where those emeralds are. And then I will go scroll down on these same overlays and I'll go down to where they have correction marks. I will go into my sponsorship drill down of whatever coach that is on the verge of rank advancing and I'll look at my sponsorship drill down to see how many people that they have on the left and on the right and if they have emeralds which leg they're on and then I'll take the appropriate amount of check marks and I change them to a bright color so that you can see them. I personally like to use yellow. And then I will put corresponding check marks where they have helped people in their downline to show exactly how close they are to diamond rank. 
So let's just do that just to show you. So once I have those set, then I go back. I'm still on the butterfly right here. And I'll go back like I did before. And I have all my personally sponsored coach pictures in a file as well, so they're easy to find. And let's just say I'll pick Nicole because she is going to soon be a diamond. And I will put her picture right there. And then I can go back into text and add a text and put her name. And if you want to, you can highlight it and center it. And that is how I make a diamond to be announcement. And then you can just go and save it to your computer and you can upload it and post it in your team page with a little shout out. Um, I hope that was helpful. I know it was super simple, but I plan to make some more videos on how I use PicMonkey because I use it for everything and it's just super awesome once you get the hang of it. So hope that was helpful. Have a good day, guys.